A different version of the speckled ban brought you by Alexandra, Amy, and Connie. And thanks the performance by Gloria and Vlad. Violence does, in truth, recall upon the violent, and the schemer falls into the pit, which he digs for another. Author Conan Doyle. And let the story begin. As Sherlock Holmes said, he did take the next train to go to Lady Helen's house. Sherlock started to look around and let the investigation begin. I would like to see Julia's room right now. Julia's room? Come in. Then Lady Helen showed Sherlock Holmes the room which because Julia used to live. Sherlock Holmes asked her a lot of questions, and I mean, she did answer it. Married, uh, with my stepfather a long time ago. How's your mother now? Died. She died. What's that? After all of the questioning, Sherlock Holmes found something really weird in the house. And it is just the beginning. Who are you? What are you doing on my property? I'm Sherlock Holmes. I'm... I don't care who you are. You're not allowed to be here. This is private property and it says no trespassing. You seem you like hiding something. I ain't hiding nothing. Sherlock Holmes? 
You have no business to be in my house. So you better get out of here. Right now, before I put the dogs on you. Sherlock Holmes left immediately. After that, it was just the doctor and her stepdaughter in the room, alone. Helen dear, why was this man at our mansion? Tell me right now! What are you doing? You will bring us both down! Leave! No, I don't want to see you! After Dr. Royat left, Lady Helen asked Sherlock Holmes to come back. I'm so sorry, my dad like did always. Um, that's okay, I guess. That's who he is. I'm done with my investigation. Well, you are gonna live like that? There's nothing we should have afraid of. You can just go to Julia's bed and sleep well. Aha! Getcha, Sherlock Holmes said. Suddenly, he heard a screaming outside. <laughs> Such are the true facts of the death of the doctor. The little which I had yet learned of this case was told me by Sherlock Holmes himself when he got back from the house. The idea of a snake instantly occurred to me, and when I coupled it with my knowledge that that doctor was furnished with a supply of creatures in India, I felt that I was probably on the right track. Of course, he must reek out the snake before the morning light reveal it to the victim. He had to train it, probably by using of the milk or something like that. He would put it through this valenter at the, to at the hour of he sought best, which certainly would crawl down the rope and land on the bed. It might or might not bite the occupant, Perhaps she might escape every night for a week, but sooner or later she must fail a victim. And that's how it ends. Dr. Gramsci Royd died in an accident he did for someone else. Thank you so much for watching.